Hey, what's up guys? Today's video, we're going to do another best class setup video. Today's best class setup video is going to be on the Vesper. Uh, might be a weird choice, some of you may think, but uh, since it was recently nerfed, I don't think enough people have caught on to the fact that it's still pretty, pretty damn good. If you know how to use it, if you can control the recoil, and you have the right attachments on it. Um, so, because of that crazy recoil, we're going to put the grip. Uh, so we have slightly longer range. Uh, it, it's it's kind of hard to do those. I'm... I've gotten better and I can definitely challenge people at mid-range, long range you have no chance, but at mid-range I definitely, I can hold my own if I need to. Um, I'm not going to try to get into those gunfights, this is definitely more of a rushing gun. You're going to be close quarters, um, I'm thinking like combine, you're inside their house, uh, safeguard, robot maybe if they're right up rushing you or you want to rush them, um, yeah. so. Since it has such a fast recoil, you're going to blow through your ammo. Just trust me, like, the most accurate person is going to blow through their ammo. You're probably going to use more bullets than you need to kill someone, even if you're 100% accurate. Um, so, because of that fast fire rate, like, you want as many bullets in your magazine as possible so that if you are not controlling that recoil properly, you have the longest amount of time to be able to hit them. And because you have so many bullets, and such a fast recoil, or such a fast reload, uh, uh, fire rate, sorry, uh, it's definitely necessary to have the fast mag through. You're definitely going to need to reload mid gunfight a lot of times, and the fast mags on this is actually very, very fast, in my opinion, and so I think it's very useful. So, since I said this was a rushing class, the first perk we're going to use is uh, Sixth Sense. It displays a minimap indicator, blah, blah, blah. It's uh, basically awareness over here on your minimap. It's really useful if, say, you're turning a corner or you are next to a door and you can see that someone's camping on the other side of it. You can just turn, aim, and fire. Um, awareness. Uh, you can exchange awareness for gung-ho if you like or blast suppressor. And, and any of these are fine. I Normally, I just always keep awareness. Uh, it's just a preference at this point, but you have to have scavenger on this class if you don't want to be picking up a different gun every three kills. Uh, the magazine on this will not last very long. If you're any skilled of a player, you're going to need more ammo, and if you don't want to pick up a gun, scavenger is the only way to fix that unless everyone in the game is using a Vesper. Um, so yeah, like it's it's still a, it's a still a decent gun. It's not great. It's by no means great. It's not OP anymore. But when you're using it correctly, I think the argument can still be made that it's it's close to OP. It's it's a fun gun to use. It's a challenge. If you're looking for a bit of a challenge in a gun, it's definitely the Vesper is definitely the gun that you want to look at. So now onto that game play. One of the, the key things that you need to keep in mind with the Vesper is its range. It's not a long range gun. You can't get in the same gunfights you can with the CUDA, even the VMP. Right here, this first gunfight, you'll notice I. That's too far. The Vesper's recoil is randomized, and that time I did not get a good randomized recoil, and I was all over the map. Uh, it, like I said, it's random. Sometimes you'll get amazing recoil, and it won't seem like you get any at all. Other times you're going to be shooting for the moon. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. But in those close range fights where the recoil doesn't matter so much, that's, that's when the Vesper shines. Um, that right there, for a beginner player, that range that I was just at might have been kind of, call it like the Goldilocks zone, like the farthest you want to shoot, like any farther than that, your your chances of winning the gunfight are going drastically, drastically lower. Um, some random things you might want to try are just, like, jump shots. I don't hear that recommended much in terms of... Uh, Accuracy. A lot of people have recommended it in uh, getting more XP per game. If you didn't know, every time you get a jump shot medal up there in the top, you get uh, an additional 100 XP that game, which doesn't sound like much, but if you're someone who can remember to jump shot three quarters of the time, you get 30 kills, and 25 of those are uh, jump shots, you just got an extra 2.5k XP that game, which can add up quite a lot. 
Um, but the reason I say try jump shots is because the Vesper's recoil tends to go up and then usually it seems to go to the right, but it can go to the left as well. So if you're jumping and you're aiming sort of below you, when you come down, the recoil is going to correct for you and you should be aiming at them no matter what. So that whole jump, you should be locked onto them fairly well. Um, it's just a little, a little trick that I found in my uh, time using the Vesper in this class that I thought uh, made my accuracy better. Now in saying that, it's really hard to remember to jump shot. I, there was a couple times in this game you'll remember I do, but usually it's just me jumping around corners that I realize I did it. Um, get that fast reload in there, and I died with a trip mine. How nice. Um, so yeah, for for this class, I would highly recommend using a uh, uh, your typical kind of rushing specialist. I'm quite the fan of the uh, kinetic armor. It uh, if I get in a sticky situation, it just saves my ass for that additional second, two seconds sometimes. This gunfight is one you don't want to get into. Don't try challenging a sniper with the Vesper. Unless, of course, it's not the Dracon and you're not point blank range. Or you're at point blank range, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the the Vesper's not as bad as people think it was since it was nerfed. It's it's definitely more than just slightly usable. You'll see in this gameplay, I think I end up going 36 and 10. Um, this was the first gameplay I even recorded uh, after I decided I needed to go get gameplay footage for it. I popped on, got one game, and this was the one. So that just kind of goes to show you how good you can be. But yeah, you'll see right there, pop that kinetic. Another kinetic kill. I think I'll get one more here. Yep. Um, oh, no, that one didn't count. Didn't get the bully medal, but you get the point. It's uh, it's really useful. Very, very useful to have that kinetic armor. Um, so we're kind of destroying the other team, 73 to 50 at the moment. I think we end up winning by only... 20, so I say only 20. Um, but yeah, Vesper's a great class. I will uh, let you continue watching this gameplay. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, have a good one.